Sean Pieri, P-I-E-R-I-S-E-A-N, Vice President for Development and Marketing, Driscoll Children's Hospital. And obviously today is all about the official opening of the hospital down here in the Rio Grande Valley, but you and I today are going to talk about another issue. You have an issue with the state of Texas at the moment, and uh, you feel one of your plans is that you're not being treated fairly. The state of Texas issued its uh, Medicaid procurement process back in March, and the Driscoll Health Plan, which has been in business for over 20, 20 years, was eliminated from the process. So. 24 counties which Driscoll services, no, no longer will Driscoll be able to provide Medicaid insurance to those air, in those areas. That, that, that uh, procurement process right now is in litigation. A number of health plans are, are suing the state, trying to get the procurement uh, overturned at this point in time. I understand Senator Hinojosa is working hard. He gave us an interview a few weeks ago. He's working hard to overturn that. Yeah, Senator Hinojosa, along with uh, all the representatives from South Texas, are working very closely uh, with, it, with the legislature trying to overturn it. Obviously, it's a big, it's a big deal here in South Texas. Uh, and so, yeah, we have legislators throughout the state who are involved in this process, and there's a lot, of, uh, a lot of talk and conversation about overturning or changing the approach that's happened so far. Is that change, do you have to wait for the next legislative session before you get the change you want? Yeah, that's our, our hope is to wait to the next legislative session. I mean, the, the, the contracts were to be signed by September 1st, but that's not going to happen because of the legal, the legal issues that are underway right now. Um, but right now, it looks like it's going to start getting pushed out into that legislative session in 2025. That would be beneficial not only for Driscoll, but for the other health plans that did not um, receive bids during this, during this procurement process. Because you feel you've got a lot of support among the legislators around the state. We have a lot of support from the legislators around the state. Our biggest uh, concern about this whole thing is when the state looked at uh, the health plans, they didn't take into consideration past performance at all from health plans. We've been doing this for 20 years. The reason why they didn't take past performance into consideration was because they thought it would give an unfair advantage to the incumbents. So instead of looking at past performance, looking at past results, they just eliminated it altogether and they gave, they gave the uh, contracts to other companies. In my mind, this is like the Dallas Cowboys uh, trying to recruit a quarterback and never looking at any game film on the guy and bringing him in. So, how could past performance not be part of a consideration? You don't you don't hire somebody to do a job without doing reference checks. You don't you don't look at a quarterback without looking at game film to, to get them as your starting quarterback. You shouldn't look at a health plan uh, without having past performance and a record with that. On this particular issue, Sean, is there anything else you'd like to add? No, but I would like to thank you, Steve, for uh, covering the Driscoll events and supporting Driscoll Children's Hospital. And we're just delighted to be here in the Rio Grande Valley. Uh, celebrating the opening of the uh, Children's Hospital down here. It seems from the, 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 the decibels, the noise level, there's a lot of excitement today. Yeah, well, we've been excited. We keep, uh, yeah, it is a very exciting time. And, you know, it's crazy. We, we, we've been open for about three months now, and we are pretty much at full capacity. We're actually growing. We're, we're building out another floor, adding 16 more beds at this hospital. And so uh, it's great to be able to bring health care to a, a, a place that doesn't have the, the level of health care it needs. And, and Driscoll's proud to be part of the Rio Grande Valley. Thank you so much for today's interview. Thank you, Steve. Always great to see you.